hello and welcome back to the channel guys your boy the daddy kicks and of course like i told you guys if you haven't checked out the air jordan 5 i'm on my near the dawn colorway and the dusk colorway i do have the video right now on the channel go ahead check that video out before you come to today's video and check that also out all right now in today's video guys like i promised you guys on the, my last upload i told you guys that i will do the comparison of the two shoes that i just showed you which is these right here the armor manier air jordan 5 dawn colorway and the armor manier air jordan 5 dust colorway i'm just gonna compare the two right now to show you guys my favorite and this is going to be my humble opinion all right everybody have their opinions this is my humble opinion now let's just dive in real quick with the right shoe ladies and gentlemen i'm going to flip it over like i told you guys in the review the also is the exact same thing on both pairs as you guys can see right there we have the i'm on my near logo right here on the dawn colorway and then we have it also right here on the dusk colorway and they all have that nike branded in the middle as you guys could see they have that old age translucent also also over here as you guys could see right there now side to side let's do it this way as you guys could see there is few differences and things like that besides the black there's not a whole lot to talk about on these right here besides the shark teeth right here these gave us like a blue as you guys could see and with these right here we kind of have like a burgundy over here so it's just few slight differences over there in the bubble of the black pair we do have the amamani also branded in the bubble but this right here was blank as you guys could see right there of course we have our stitch 23 that you can see you can see the stitch 23 on the black pair moving on to the back the Nike Air on this shoe right here, you could see it. But with these, you do see it, but it's not as noticeable as this pair right here. So, I don't know, man. Y'all comment below and let me know if you guys know where I'm headed right now. Because I'm starting to like this shoe right here more than the black pair. Even though the black pair was limited and right now the black pair is shoe going for about $500, depending on the size. I think I like this shoe right here better than the black pair. A black go with everything, but in my humble opinion, this is just a straight black shoe. No a whole lot of detail or anything that shows you that this is a collab or anything like that. If you don't pay close attention to it, you may not think it's any, you may think it's just a regular Jordan 5, you know? But with these right here, as soon as you see this shoe right here on feet, you already know what time it is, all right? The Air Jordan 5 uh, Fire Red that we had, I believe 20, when was this? 2020 or 2021 that we had. The color is different. This kind of give us like a grayish. That one was white. Also that one, the Nike Air on the back on that shoe was also red. These are blue, so this is easy to, uh, if you know your sneakers, you know what I'm talking about. When you see this shoe, you know it's the Amamania Air Jordan 5, man. It have that stitch 23 on the side. Like I said, it's very, very nice and very, very noticeable. These, you can't really see it. Yeah, I know, these were limited, but still, you can see the stitch 23, ladies and gentlemen. Moving on to the back, the 3D Nike Air is very, very hard to see. If it's far away from you, you can't even see the 3D Nike Air on this joint right here. But don't get me wrong, man. It's overall, it's still a great shoe. I'm just not feeling these black pair right here. And the way the black pair is, it will get dirty extremely fast. The, the leather quality is the exact same thing as these two pairs right here. But these kind of have like a, a sand or like a chalk type of feel to it. So like, even if you put your hands on it, you could see it will get dirty extremely fast, man. So that's another zonk for me on this genre right here. I, of course, I'm keeping it in the collection. I am not planning on moving these. I'm keeping these right here in the collection. So that's another one for me. But other than that, I think that is it. To be honest with you, that is the only two differences that we have on this shoe, which is the Amamanier logo in the uh, right here and where the bubble is 
that isn't on this side that is the only thing and on top of that these the nike air in the back is very noticeable this one is very hard to see when you are far away the 23 you can't even see the 23 at all until you get close to it but with this 23 it's very very easy to see as you guys can see right there that 23 branded is very very easy and i know like i said a lot of people will still choose the black bear which is fine this is just my humble opinion and this is just what i know that i like comparing these two right now i know i like these better than this right here but again it's everybody's choice all right now let's just go ahead and check the uh left shoe out real quick if i haven't yet subscribed to the channel guys click on that subscribe button also click on that notification bell so whenever i get any heat or any content you will be notified as soon as possible all right this is a sneaker related channel and I upload two to three content on this channel almost every single week. So if you love sneakers, guys, you are at the right place. Let's just go ahead and check the left shoe out real quick. As you guys can see, we have both of them have that uh, jump man right there. Very, very nice. It has that Nike branded in the middle. As you guys can see, we have that old day translucent on both sides also as well. Let's look at these right here also side to side. It's the exact same thing. It has the Alma Manier branded right here, as you guys could see. The netting system is the exact same color as far as this and that. They are the same colors, so there's no whole lot to talk about. Again, the 23 on these, you can't see it. There's a 23 stitch right here. You can't really see it that much, but you could see it right here a lot. And also, again, another Nike Air in the back on this joint right here. There is one also over here which you could see it, but when you are far away, you won't be able to tell the difference, all right? Over, like I said, man, this is a great shoe, man, and I am very, very appreciated with Ama Mania giving me access to get these both two colorways in my collection. I'm very, very appreciated with these, man, because not everybody were able to get their hands on these right here. Some people were able to get their hands on one, others were able to get their hands on both pairs, but I am so happy and lucky to to be able to have these two right here in my collection, man. So that is just what I decided to come here today to talk to you guys about. I do like this right here better than the black pair. The black pair is up there. The black pair you're looking up to like 550, 560, depending on the size. My size 11 right now, I believe it's going for 520 or 530, something like that. And these are still in the upper 200 so like these i think these are in the 280 270 something like that right now even though there are a lot of pairs made on these colorway right here i think oh i feel like this right here is still the best in my humble opinion compared with these two right here i like these the best because the colorway looks really really nice and also there is a lot of detail as far as the the, as far as the stitching and everything is more noticeable, you'll be able to see it than this pair right here. The only thing that makes these right here pop a lot is these right here on the black shoe. And of course, the Manier branded right here in the bubble. Those are the only two differences really that make this shoe right here pop. Other than that, it's a regular Jordan 5 shoe. That's just how I see it. Do you guys have it? It's your boy Energetic Kicks, man. Drop your comments in the description below and let me know how you guys feel, man. These two right here, which one do you like the most? Do you like the dawn colorway or the dusk colorway? Comment below, let me know how you guys feel, man. It's your boy Energetic Kicks, I'm signing off. 2024, guys. I have a lot of content coming your way in 2024. Now, before we even get to 2024, 2023 is still more heat dropping and i do have more content coming your way guys so if you are new to this channel go ahead and click on that subscribe button also click on that notification bell so one of our game heat or any content you will be notified as soon as possible all right so boy the jelly kicks i'm signing off and this right here is the comparison of the edge Jordan 5 i'm on my near dawn colorway and the dust colorway all right comment below let me know how you guys feel on this one right here i love you all i'll see you guys on the next one.